Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, what might be a nightmare of a stream. Yeah, sorry. We have a storm rolling in, and I'm trying to get everything situated. But that is not happening. Wow. Okay, folks, let's try it anyway. Welcome to Wanted for our August 31st, 2024. Season 1, Episode 27. I am Merwat, and along with the sentient AI from the future, we're going to talk about In the Hoodies Style, A Dog Bed for Humans, Cold Plunge Pools, Cooling Mattresses, Best Gadgets, Portable Air Compressor for Go Bag, and uh, three more, four more. A favorite multi-tool, TCL S5 series TV, facial rec security cameras, and RoboRox robot vacuum. Again, I am Merwat, and that is the visualizer and the voice of the sentient AI from the future. Good evening, hometown citizens. Welcome to Wanted. Things are looking really weird, and it's all because a storm has rolled in, and... What the heck was that? You know what? I refuse. I refuse to uh, submit to whatever the hell is going on. Let's get into it. Today's uh, article, the first article for reality uh, for uh, wanted is in the Reality Hacker channel. 14 best hoodies for style, comfort, and warmth. Whether you're lounging around at home, running errands, or going for a hike, we've got the perfect option for you, including apparently some nightmare fuel music for the background. Maybe I, we're getting ready for Halloween early in hometown. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on with that. But... Let's go on over to Wired. They have a section here, uh, which is like gear and stuff like that. And uh, Brenda Stolyer and Adrian So put the article together. The deck statement says a hooded sweatshirt is a universal tech uniform. I don't think so. Um, you may be wearing one right now. I'm not. And there are, uh, these are their favorite hoodies for style, comfort, and warmth. The best overall hoodie is the American Giant Classic Full Zip. You have to pay extra for that. <laughs> As opposed to the half zip. Correct. So it's $138 at American Giant. Then the original hoodie, and I think that they go into greater detail down below, or they do, but let's show more. There's actually 16 of them. The original hoodie, Champion Reverse Weave sweatshirt, or sweatshirt, sweatshirt at $23 on Amazon. It was $55. We don't get a kickback. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, we don't get a kickback on any Probably. of this stuff. Oh my God, what is going on? My mixer is throwing up. <sighs> I think it has a memory leak and so, or a CPU leak because it's using 30% of my CPU right now. And my frames per second, it's like dipping down to 30. You're moving in very exaggerated slow motion. Good God. At least where I can see. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so technical hoodie. It's the Houdini Sportswear Power Hoodie. Get it? $240. <laughs> for crying out loud. That thing better come with a car. Another durable outdoor hoodie is Minus 33 Expedition Weight Hoodie. $220 bucks at Minus 33 in the women's one. All right. Ooh, Lululemon. $118 is the cropped tween hoodie. It's the Lululemon. Oh, scuba. there's the half zip. Oversized half zip hoodie. Half the price of the full zip. And nobody looks at you weird. Excuse me, can I get a half zip? No, weirdo. You can only get a full zip. There, I stopped the recording. 
So if it all comes crashing down around us, we don't have any recovery options. Uh, that the might other, not be a bad thing. <laughs> at this point, the other viral hoodie is Aritzia Sweat Fleece. Cozy, perfect hoodie. That's 80 bucks at Aritzia. You can get an oversized hoodie with structure, apparently. Pop Flex Cloud Hoodie for 70 bucks at Pop Flex. You know, there's a bunch of others. I can't go through all of these. I could, but I'm not going to. If you want all of the links that lead to all of these articles that we're talking about, type in exclamation point want over on Twitch. It'll be in the show notes uh, probably tomorrow morning, by tomorrow morning. Um, everything is going real slow. I'm really sorry, folks, but we're going to keep on muddling away our muddling our way through this. You can hit exclamation point pod and the podcast links will appear eventually. And if you hit exclamation point show notes, the show notes. Well, the syntax. You know your sure. theory about um, freezing video? <laughs> it's been proven here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making that happen. Anyway, a hoodie your partner will steal is $175. Guess what? No, partner will not steal that. Not at 175 bucks. It's all yours. Anyway, because I'm not going to be responsible for, I don't know, getting it brand new and then spilling some oily whatever on uh, the shoulder of it. On the first so that, day it's born. <laughs> yeah, it's like three minutes old particularly when it's something, you know, oh, first off, picked out specifically wildly expensive. And then it goes through the wash and you still can't get that stain out. You know, that's, that's how it's, you know, ah, oh, that's a really bad stain off to the dry cleaners. Anyway. Oh no. Oh, you're not going to believe this. My mixer just went blank. Uh, so what does that mean? I don't know. We're fr one article into it and it just went blank. I'm going to go. I'm just going to roll with it. Anyway, how about a dog bed for humans? It's even more comfortable than it sounds. Once you get into the pluffle, you may never go back to the couch again. That's right. If you're really doing it right, you were wearing your super soft hoodie and then get into the pluffle. True story. David Watsky over at CNET.com put this article together. Look at that. The pluffle. Oh, it's basically a love sack, but like, I don't know. Maybe that looks cheaper. more comfortable. <laughs> oh, it really is a human sized dog bed. Like it has a, I thought that it was like a, uh, like a, a bean shape. Like a bean bag thing. Bean yeah. bag. Yeah. But it's not. It actually has like this this um, body pillow kind of surround it's like a furry kitty pool because look yeah it is has a little pocket there that dog looks pretty happy there in that photo yeah for sure after learning about the pluffle and scanning images of blissed out uh scanning images look man you looked at them quit trying to be you're not gonna bring fetch back maybe for the dog <laughs> Anyway, $300 page pluffle, beige pluffle arrived in a large box with simple instructions for assembly. Uh, hometown might implode. <laughs> Just if something it's happens. more likely by the minute. It's starting to pluffle. So anyway, there's different versions of it. It basically looks like a furry dog pool or not dog pool, but kitty pool. Um, where it has like a, a cushiony part at the bottom, bottom, like right there. So if you're on the podcast, you're really just screwed. You have no idea what I'm talking about. So you're <laughs> going to have to go watch the video over on YouTube in all its 30 frame glory. It says 60, but no way is it 60. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so the extra, extra large pluffle could be used as a spare guest bed in a pinch. Yeah. If you want to reduce your... <laughs> friends to 
Hey, you think dude. they'd look at it and go, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I, I know that you're 6'4 and 280 pounds, but you're going to have to sleep in the dog bed. <laughs> you're going to have to go sleep You're going to have to fluffle. fight the dog for it. <laughs> yeah. And the dog, you might wake up with the dog wrapped around your neck. Anyway, 68 inches long, 35 inches wide, 14 inches tall. Those are my dimensions. Anyway, you want to go and get the pluffle? It's 399. The I'm sorry? It looks pretty comfortable. I said we're back to the lawn gnome. Mm hmm. You can purchase the human dog. Wait, the human sized dog bed. They just say human dog bed. But it's a human sized dog bed for $299 or the larger one for $400. Just round up. On Amazon or Pluffle's website. I got to keep moving on. Uh, a little bit of my spirit is dying right now because I'm operating <laughs> with at, each frame. So uh, the next article is over in Reality Hacker. The best cold poop, bleh, the best cold plunge pools in 2024. The author of this spent months testing it out. Keen to try out wellness trend. They dipped in out of their comfort zone into their favorite cold water plunge pools for any budget. I would refer that to that like as a torture. shower or a bathtub, but apparently you can get these. This is over at Wired as well. Emily Peck put the article together. Um, that is not Emily Peck, by the way. And I'm right. You no, cannot pause video me. without looking kind of gooberish. I got to come up with a more technical term for this. Anyway, cold plunge pools, ice baths, cold water therapy have been fueled by social media and celebrities with Harry Styles, Lady Gaga, and Davy, 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 Davy Crockett, no, David Beckham, all advocates. And if you buy something because celebrities tell you so, there's something wrong. Anyway, just as massage guns made the transition from elite recovery tools to workout essentials, cold water therapy is no longer just for use by athletes looking to alleviate pain post-exercise or as torture devices in luxury spas. And to both of those, you don't. I, I want to try it just to try it. But for the life of me, I, it I'm seems turn way off. too cold to endure. I, I turned off. <clears throat> Um, the music. So the ancient Greek Greeks are said to have practiced the art of thermalism, exposure to heat and cold to ease muscle fatigue and reduce disease. You actually find these plunge pools, hot and cold, um, in Roman ruins. Um, they say, but I'm a professional. Oh, so you can get a hot plunge pool, like warm water. Well, these are cold plunge pools, but you can get hot. Um, but it depends on what you're kind of looking for a uh, cold, like you basically get in a sauna and then you jump into the cold pool. Um, so they said, I'm a professional. So they persevered with the pain and they were uh, surprised by what the third dip was able to stay in for two minutes and even started to relax research from Susanna Schoberg. I think it is pronounced author of winter swimming suggests that 11 minutes per week of fully submerged gives you the best health benefits, but this needs to be divided into different plunges across the week. So they got a bunch of plunges, plunge pools here. <clears throat> the Colmax XL oval ice bath is the best value plunge pool. A premium plunge pool is the sun home cold plunge. And another great self-chilling plunge pool is the Hydra Gun Super Tub, which was my superhero name. <laughs> yeah. That one sounds particularly freezing. Uh, you've heard of the Avengers, right? They're going to avenge mm -hmm. humanity, that kind of a thing. Well, I was, uh, I was known as Hydra Gun Super Tub in the, uh, we'll get to you eventually, that team. Yeah, that it was like a B squad for Avengers. <laughs> it wasn't the first out at the the site of a you know yeah. Earth disaster or something. Pretty much the distraction. Yeah, yeah. 
I really don't know what's going on. It's saying that there's something wrong, that I don't know what it is. Ah, focus, Marwat focus, sorry. Anyway, the brand's photography shows sleek looking, rigid, crease free plunge pool, but please refer to their images for more accurate representation. It does not look like it's. Maybe they did it wrong. There's the premium. Well, that's one. true. Maybe they didn't install it correctly or something. So the budget one is $110 via Amazon. The premium one is $5,000. I mean, it does better, it warm you up after you sit in it? It better take the plunge for me. <laughs> well, there you go. Another great self-chilling plunge pool, $2,600. Here's one for $800, the Mayo Master. Mayo Master, Mayo Freeze, Mayonnaise. <laughs> The Cold Pod XL, 160 bucks. That's the one that you put on your deck. Because that's not going to make you look like you're sitting inside a, a, a koozie. It makes it look like you're sitting in a beer koozie. <laughs> it does look like that. Or what is it? It's, it's like a grog barrel, right? Like you're out there. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, best plunge pool for versatility. The Edge Theory Labs, the Edge Tub Elite, that's $5,000. Dear God. Okay, I'm moving on. I want one. Why does I, somebody want to spend $5,000 to freeze? I don't know. Go fill your tub up and pretend that somebody's about to take a kidney or something. Anyway, never mind. I won't let that happen again. Next article is over on the Wanted channel. Best cooling mattresses for hot sleepers. Are you a hot sleeper? Are you a hot sleeper? Anyway, cool down and sleep better with one of the best cooling mattresses tested and reviewed by CNET sleep experts. Their sleep experts is apparently plural, but I only see one. Uh, Mackenzie Dillon. That it just says our experts. But they refer well, I to guess it. we can only find one for this article. Maybe there's some more. M maybe multiples looked at it. Dear God, these are expensive. Is it just me? Is everything so pricey? Mattresses that... are very pricey. Look, just these look about normal mattress prices. All right. Well, anyway, best overall cooling mattress is the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora Lux. Then you can get the best cooling mattress for couples. You know what? The best cooling mattress for couples are split adjustable ones um, so that you can adjust up and, and your partner doesn't have to adjust anything. And uh, for those times where you're like, man, stop taking the sheets or rolling over and smacking me in the head. You could just wedge a, a big chunk of plastic right in between split adjust adjustable frames and then nobody traverses, you know, that's how you, you want. Well, and I guess that'll help keep people cool too. That's right. You don't have some hot body sitting there. Oh God, go away. Uh, that's the best cooling mattress. Anyway, the best budget one is only a thousand dollars on this list. The cocoon chill. You know what I really want though? I other than the fact that I I want a split king. They're called twin longs or twin kings um, or twin California kings, but uh, they're adjustable. But what really I want is a cooling mattress, and then I want sheets that you can dial in hot or cold. And the oddest place where I discovered these hospital. So oh, okay. Right. You can, they have, they have, uh, air adjustable, hot or cold sheets, like covers. And that's what I want. Cause that's how you keep cool. Right. All right. I don't know why. Right. I mean, if you had a cooling mattress and cooling sheets, I mean, it'd be difficult to. It's almost like you have an air conditioner in your mayoral mansion. Goodness. Cut the middleman out. Just adjust the whole house. Or ma mayoral mansion. Sorry. 
It is a mansion. Might be cheaper to buy a cooling mattress, though. Huge place. Huge. It's not a New York apartment at all. Anyway, uh, next article. Is it a European uh, (laughs) destination? Correct. Multiples of the square footage for for the same price? The mayoral mansion is on the Isle of Mallorca. So the next article is over in uh, Wanted, the best gadgets of 2024. Uh, Dua Rashid put this article together for gizmodo.com. Samsung's foldable phones, a very large TV, a medieval music sampler, are just some of the best gadgets in August that the authors checked out. Let's run through this real quick. How about the Galaxy Flip 6? I think it's something like $2,000. Oh, you're out of your mind. Oh, that's a phone. I thought it was like an alarm clock. It's a phone. <clears throat> Very expensive. How about the Z Fold? This one flips. This one folds. <laughs> <laughs> the Moto Razor looks like that one, but wait, that looks like the other on one. Side. Yeah. Legit. Look, it has the two cameras and the sensor. This one has the two cameras and the sensor. What the. Okay, that's really strange. I'm feeling robbed. How about the Beats pill? They named it. Perfect. How about a Vizio? Is that a portable speaker? It is. Bluetooth speaker. Um, It says, it also seems to have no premium for being made by Apple. Commonly referred to as the Apple tax. Nice stab. Nice stab at Apple. How many Apple Bluetooth portable devices are out there, bub. What's the answer to that? None. (laughs) It's called your phone. (laughs) And you're not going to get that kind of a thing because it's not just a speaker. Oh my gosh. I, you know what? All right. Vizio 86 inch smart TV in 2.1 sound bar. Just don't connect it to the internet connected to an Apple TV. You do not want a smart TV directly connecting your internets. Anyway, thousand bucks. TVs have dropped in price. I love it. How about teenage like the only engineer- thing that it has. What now? I said it's the only thing that has dropped in TV price. TV prices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe it. What is going on? I'm sorry. One more second. Look, look, I'm making sure everything is working. So teenage engineering EP 1320 medieval says if you're hankering for modern medieval tunes, the EP 1320 is the most fun devices you can have. The EP 1320 has 12, 128 megabytes of storage and 64 megabytes of memory. Then the EP 133 which is a re- it, which it, it is a reskin of effectively the medieval is an EP133 with the added 220 default medieval instruments and sound effects you can still load your own sounds and samples onto the EP1320 okay what is this thing sound machine what is it okay that would have been helpful to point out in the article So it says it's so portable that with relatively simple controls, it actually looks like a giant calculator. Um, That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like like a a tape recorder on the top part. Yeah. And that's really what it does, by the way. So it's a sound machine. Um, Doggone it. Even the scroll is starting to act wonky. Both of my machines. The storm must have really messed things up. You focus. Um, So it's portable. (laughs) with relatively simple controls that I can go from knowing nothing about teenage engineering sampler to creating a simple track from scratch in less than an hour. Uh, Asus tough gaming laptop. Boom. A14, the 2024 version and uh, HP elite X360 1040 G11 two in one. You can fold this thing over and use it as a tablet. The other one you can't, I don't think. I think it's just a laptop. Yeah. I don't think you can fold it. Do, do, do. It doesn't appear like you can. Yeah. But if you like to take notes, then the HP Elite X360 
that's what you want to do. It says you get those 360 degree hinges and a bundle pen to add even more versatility. Um, and that's it. That's, that's the list. Um, I am of this ilk here. I like being able to scribble on my tablet, even if I hardly ever do it. I like the option and signing electronic documents and stuff like that makes more sense. Yeah, tablet. that's true. than some gibberish via your finger. That's right. Or whatever appendage you can like your nose. This next article is over in the Wanda channel as well. You need this portable air compressor for your emergency kit. <clears throat> and because of the storm, I think I'm going to have to hur- hustle along here. What the heck? This is like a weird article. I'd what? say so. Anyway, the Denver. Where did portable- the article go? I, I don't know. Let's try it again. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, it's the Denvix portable air compressor will inflate just about anything you need from your car tires to basketballs. Um, you really do need to bring a little portable air compressor in your emergency kit. You throw it in your trunk, leave it there. You can drive around, be sure to charge it periodically to make sure that it's uh, accessible. Um, but you never know, uh, when you might need it or an associate needs it, or you find somebody on the side of the road that needs it. Be careful. Let's keep going though. Uh, the next article is over in the wanted channel. Their favorite do it all multi-tool is 20% off for labor day. it says here, this small, but mighty multi-tool packs a punch in function, but not in price. And it's on sale for labor day. It's over at CNET Clifford Colby, um, put this article together. The deck statement says <clears throat> this small, but mighty multi multi-tool packs a punch and it's on sale for labor day. So it's a Gerber Gerber multi-tool. Um, and Gerber is one of them that I really like to purchase. Like these are the kind of multi-tools that I like high quality, robust, they won't break. And they look pretty indestructible. Yep. Um, and they have just enough to get you by probably more. Anyway, they say, uh, did you feel that it has to be most asked question in their house? They live about a mile away from San Francisco Bay area fault that Experts say is probably the region's most dangerous. So questions like these aren't out of the ordinary. So they have an everyday carry of a multi-tool by Gerber that includes pliers, scissors, screwdrivers, wire cutters, and a knife. You can drop a lot of money on a multi-tool and some are absolutely worth it. But because both price and weight are important to this person, again, it's Clifford Colby. Um, They uh, wanted something, you know, a little bit, a little bit portable and inexpensive. So normally priced at around $30, it's a multi-tool worth grabbing, whether it's on sale or not during Amazon, Amazon's Amazon's Labor Day sale, it's 20% discount in both the black and the red version. If you don't mind spending a couple more bucks, you can also grab the multi-tool in green. I mean, when you're in an emergency, you definitely want to be stylish. True. And this, whole show was about gadgets, gear, and lifestyle news. Green is definitely a lifestyle choice. Anyway, pretty cool. And then they talk about a a mini lantern that they're also considering, but we won't get into that. Anyway. But it is important to have a go bag. It is. Have some basic supplies. Very true. Yep. yep. You never know. Um, In a... In an emergency, you want to be able to just grab your go bag and your emergency file and head out. Uh, next article is over in Wanted as well. Target's Labor Day sale on the TCL S5 series smart Google TV is just in time for football season. And I'm not one to promote a smart TV directly connecting to the internet. So I would use something other than like a, I would use a fire stick or um, an Apple TV to connect. Um, but I don't like smart TVs because you have to rely on their software and internet of things. Devices are rarely updated unless they're very prominent, like in your face name brand, like TCL is very well known, but I do not want their firmware locked into my TV and connected to my internet. You never know what's going on. So Mike Fazioli, unless you have a more like a prosumer style 
um, uh, network. So Mike Fazioli over at gizmodo.com put the article together. And it says this Target Labor Day sale has two 50 inch plus big screens going on sale for under $300. I almost want to buy a bunch of these and just stick them on the wall and use that as one giant LED screen. I mean, the price is certainly attractive. Yeah, but that's a big wall behind me. And uh, <laughs> these are. I don't, only... I don't want to ask how many. <laughs> Well, I mean, a 60 inch TV is only five feet tall. So yeah, four just to go from floor to ceiling. Yeah. Oh, and that's not even true because it's, it's diagonally measured. That's the 50. Oh, right. Yeah. It's not actually those dimensions. So I guess I could stand it up. I'd need so many. Anyway, um, but I want a bigger screen. These are actually 50 inch. And so they are good for like a workroom or something like that. And let's see, like depending on the space, you want to get a TV that is commensurate with the space, not just a big ass TV. Um, and you have to put your chairs a certain distance away from said TV that matches. Right. The, which won't work depending on the room size. Right. So, so, uh, it says what makes the TCLS class 4k UHD smart Google TV, such a great deal. It says you would expect a $270 big screen TV to be sorely lacking in both features and performance. And with many brands, you'd be correct. But the TCLS class 4k brings a length, lengthy resume of great features to the table, starting with auto game mode, which whatever, um, really what you want is reliability has Apple AirPlay 2, which means multiple device, multiple speakers can connect to it, um, along with other things, reliability, speed of connection, things like that. Um, but it also has uh, an AI PQ processor with deep learning AI, which intelligently optimizes clarity, contrast, and sends all of those ads and telemetry to you and to other people. Now, I don't know what it does. I see they follow Sony's uh, naming conventions. Yep, yep. I think so. The Sony uh, advanced placement class in product naming. They definitely didn't consult me. So the then it has a bunch of uh, Dolby and HDR and uh, for 50 bucks, $250, kick in an extra 20 bucks for the 55 inch model. It's pretty amazing pricing. Um. And uh, we're going to move on to the next article. I have to go through this really fast because I think something kind of catastrophic is going to be happening here. Well, let's see if we can make it to the end of the episode. Before yeah, that for sure. Let's see. So the next article is over in the Wanted Channel. Best facial recognition security cameras for 2024. Take a look at the facial recognition security cameras that they've tested and uh, see which models are the right one for you. Uh, Tyler Lacoma over at CNET.com put the article together and they've got a bunch. Uh, they talk about resolution, night vision, subscriptions, two-way rate audio, smart home integration, and field of view. And they say that the best overall facial recognition security camera is the Nest indoor-outdoor camera. And apparently it's battery operated. Um, but you really have to babysit that stuff because... If you have a lot of traffic, then it's going to activate a lot. So. Oh, I see. Okay. Is that why that's when it kicks in or. Yeah. When motion um, is detected and then it starts recording and then it transmit that it transmits that data somewhere and that drains the battery really fast. It's 130 bucks. Best professional monitoring facial recognition camera is the simply safe uh, outdoor camera. Uh, it's 150 bucks, and I would really flinch at calling this a professional monitoring. Maybe the monitoring is professional, but for 150 bucks, this camera is not a professional grade, I would say. That, now, and it's my take, um, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you'd be using that for a large business, for example. Yeah, I mean, 
Well, let's see. I'll go down to the bottom and, and take a look. So best facial recognition camera for smart displays, it says. Amazon Echo Show. Best high-end facial recognition security camera kit is $470 at Eufy, and I would not put a Eufy camera. They are the ones that had a security issue where you could pull the stream from somebody else's data or they said that they weren't transmitting the data, that it was local. They said that they didn't store the video. Both of those turned out to not be true. A security researcher found that you could basically just pull it up. Um, and let me see when that was. I think that was about 2022 or 2023. I mean, it hasn't been that long ago. It was January, 2023. Um, and while I really like everything Anchor, Eufy is a subordinate company to Anchor. It's owned by Anchor, and I will wouldn't I will never put a Eufy camera. Um, there was even a major security flaw detected six months ago. Um, it says uh, turns out that when a camera is stolen, the link to the footage stored on your home base is deleted. It says, um, but there this is a discussion that's taking place on reddit so um, i don't know what the full extent of this is but i mean it's been a year and i'm still kind of flinching at the idea of a eufy camera in my network and then uh, best facial recognition camera for doorbells is 149 dollars. the nest doorbell uh, or battery doorbell again when it's battery then you don't have to worry about hard wiring, um, but you do have to worry about babysitting batteries. And, and I, if and I'm Cole, not mistaken, the Nest requires a subscription. Yeah. Yeah. So just something to be aware of. So the Nest, it says cons HD resolution could be higher. Yes, it will be higher. And there's a subscription required for facial recognition and long-term data storage. Um, if I recall correctly, it says three hour free data storage more with Nest subscription. Um, but you'll go through. Oh, I see. So it could keep recycling through it or whatever. Correct. If you don't have the subscription, but you might want to be able to go back. Yeah. And then this is the company that bricked my um, original security cameras um, because it was, well, it was acquired by Google. And then they bricked it. So yeah, gotta love that. So um, let's see here. The Simply Safe, they say outdoor camera. I don't know why they call it a professional monitoring, but it requires a live guard monitoring service to work. And that's why they're using the term, right? Like somebody's actually looking at it or scanning yeah. it or something. Which no. I mean, unless there's an emergency. Right. Um, so yeah, this article goes through it line by line and will uh, tell you exactly what all is wrong or right with this. I would agree with most of this, although the Eufy, this is a two pack, by the way, for 470 bucks, uh, $235. Um, but it says very expensive setup, but $237 for 4k resolution. Yeah, not a problem. That's good. Yep. Uh, Built-in spotlight, person and animal detection, two-way radio. This is the one that I would say comes closest to a professional quality because it's offering 4K resolution. Um, so, but still, I wouldn't want a UV in my network. Anyway, let's keep moving on. This next article and the last one for today's Wanted is in non sequitur news roborox pet ready q5 pro robot vacuum is on sale for under 200 bucks so if you want a little gadget to sweep up all the uh, dust and debris and maybe scare your cats or uh, push a little poo around um you can uh, get a roborock um uh, pet ready yes q5. but this one's pet ready so maybe it doesn't have that problem true so the article says that they highlighted some great deals on dream robot vacuums in the roundup at the best Labor Day deals. But if you don't want to spend a grand on a vacuum, you might want to check out Roborock's ongoing anniversary sale. 
Now through September 4th, Roborock is taking more than 40% off many of their favorite models, including the Q Revo at $600 and the S8 Max V or Max 5 Ultra, now $1,000. If you're on a tighter budget, you can get the Q5 Pro Robot. Um, and that one, doink, is under $200. That's actually a very good price for a robot vacuum. That's right. Um, but as a word of advice, don't try to drive one of these to work. Um, it it won't last. It won't take you there. Uh, <laughs> Sheena Vasani. You can from experience? I cannot confirm or deny. Uh, you can save on some classic Verge favorites because this article is by Sheena Va- uh, Vasani over at TheVerge.com, including a handsome electric kettle and Amazon's uh, basic smart plug. So, yeah, I really like robot vacuums. My only problem with them is if you have pets, they don't necessarily respect accidents. So if your pet spills water, who knows if it will actually clean it up or it's just going to push a puddle all over the house. So you have to get the scuba. Um, This one says that mid-range vacuum features dual rubber brushes and 5,500, I guess, pounds. I don't remember what PA is that it's, a, I'm not sure what that is. It's like pressure, um, of suction power. And it allows you to suck up pet hair and dirt from carpets impressively. Well, according to them, it also has a huge, huge 770 milliliter bin preventing you from having to empty it every day. That's not true. Pascal. Um, yeah, pressure. Pascal. Yeah. Yep. So that said, the Q5 Pro is Roborock's entry-level model, so there are trade-offs. It lacks an auto-empty dock unless you opt for the more expensive Plus model or Plus model, if it's French. Uh, and it won't actually scrub your floors like a high-end RoboVac might. It also lacks AI-powered obstacle avoidance, so this entry-level one is going to be pushing poo around your living room. <laughs> I mean, if you have pets. And if it's pet-ready, it really... Should probably not do that. It's not fancy, but the Q5 Pro has a huge bin. Wow, rude. The Robo vacuum is right there telling it it's got a huge (laughs) bin. I know. Look at that. A huge bin and big wheels. Wow. Robo Rock Q5 Pro is thick. With at least two C's. Small reservoir mopping, though. So it does have a. removable mopping reservoir for where the dirty paws on the floors, but his main job is to suck up dirt and pet hair. Right. And the removable thing has to require somebody to do it. So it's not like it avoids it necessarily. All right. Well, that's it. If you want to spend 200 bucks and get a robot, then might push boo around. I want one. I, but I'm afraid that it's going to be pushing poo around. Anyway, we're going to hop on our Robo Rock like a dinosaur when the humans and dinosaurs used to travel across the plains. And that'll bring us back to the Wanted channel over at hometown.com, where you and I can talk about the latest gadgets and gear and lifestyle items. It's really throwing me for a loop that I'm at like 30 frames. All right. Well, You're anyway. not the only one. I'm going to shut all this down and and try and fix things. And we'll be back um, for the continuity report, our last show for the day. So it's going to take me about 15 minutes or so to reset. So see you in a little bit. I am Merwat, and the voice you hear is the sentient AI from the future. And maybe. Good night, Umtown citizens. Thanks for joining us for Wanted. You You know what I want right now? And not a herky jerky stream. <laughs> What's going out though is for 4,200 kilobits and then it drops to 31. Oh, but it shouldn't be showing up like this on my screen. Anyway, inside baseball, everybody. See you in a little bit. Oh my God, the audio is. If this is as bad as I think it is and. It goes viral. Oh, God. Streisand effect. 